Good afternoon, brothers and sisters in Christ. I just plead the blood of Jesus over this video, over my channel, over everyone who's watching this video. I pray that your day is blessed. Um, I just looked at the clock and it's 3.33, which is why my channel is His Humble Servant 333. Um, the Lord had shown me threes for a while and I was seeking Him on the answer to the 333 and he said go look up Jeremiah 333 which says call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know so I wanted to share that with you and I wanted to share some things with you about the Shekinah glory now I've been posting the Shekinah glory for many years now and I've had a lot of other subscribers that have come to me sharing their Shekinah glory. Now, the word Shekinah just means the presence of God, and not just, the presence of God is mighty in the Holy Spirit, amen? But I also was praying about it, and uh, the Holy Spirit told me to share these things, not only to encourage and edify others, but to give God all the glory. The only reason I'm on YouTube is um, to be obedient to the Holy Spirit. And um, I had a lot of haters. Um, the last video I put up, uh, probably five or six trolls on my channel. And um, unfortunately, some of them are other Christians, which is very sad to me. Because everything that I say or anything that I put out, you can take it to the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit will show you the truth. And I even had other subscribers come to me and say, I really want to apologize um, because they had doubt or whatever, and they took it to the Lord through the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit also gave them Shekinah glory. Now, um, I had a pastor tell me that it is uh, gold dust or glory dust, diamond dust, but it is, in fact, the presence of God. And I want to share with you some scripture um, about being filled with the Holy Spirit. We go to Acts 2. We're in Acts 2, and we're talking about the coming of the Holy Spirit. Now, this is speaking about Pentecost, um, when everyone was filled with the Holy Spirit. And I specifically want to talk about, um, starting at verse 17 to 21, but I'll go ahead and read the beginning of this because this is very important. And I just want to say that we should never box God in. God is supernatural. God is a spirit. He is the creator of everything, including all of us, and he loves us very much. Um, and Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to be our guide, um, you know, and our friend when he left the earth. So when the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then there appeared to them divided tongues as a fire, and one sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now the crowd's response course was disbelief and um and there were dwelling in jerusalem jews devout men from every nation under heaven and when this sound occurred the multitude came together and were confused because everyone heard them speak in his own language then they were all amazed and marveled saying to one another look are not all these who speak galileans and how is it that we hear each in our own language in which we were born Parthenians, Medes, Elamanites, those dwelling in Mesopotamia, uh, pardon me, Mes uh, <laughs> Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus, and Asia, Perigia, oh my lord, <laughs> Pamphylia, Egypt, and parts of Libya, adjoining Cyrene, victors, visitors from Rome, both Jews, and proselytes, Cretans, and 
Arabs. We hear them speaking in our own tongues the wonderful works of God. So they were all amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, Whatever could this mean? Others mocked, said they are full of new wine. They thought they were drunk. So Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and said to them, Men of Judah and all who dwell in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and heed my words, for these are not drunk, as you suppose, since it is only the third hour of the day. But this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. And um, it's, and it shall come to pass in the last day, says God, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy... Your young men shall see visions, your old men shall dream dreams, and on my men servant and on my maid servant I will pour out my spirit in those days, and they shall prophesy. I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. And it shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. And, you know, he's speaking about signs and wonders and we shouldn't box God in. You know, when God wants to move, it's up to him how he moves. And um, so after these trolls, haters um, attacked me for sharing the Shekinah glory, um, you know, I just prayed about it. And I'm like, you know, Lord, I have been obedient to you when you have asked me to share so that all may give you glory and I will continue to do so because that's what the Holy Spirit put upon my heart to do and it glorifies God and it encourages the body of Christ. Um, and I want to read Isaiah 60 verse 1 and 2. Arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and deep darkness the people, but the Lord will arise over you and his glory will be seen upon you. There, you know, there is no darkness in Jesus Christ. He overcame darkness, right? And um, God's glory, just like he led the Israelites in the desert with a pillar of fire and a cloud. See, God is all about signs and wonders. God is all about his glory. And so after this, I had um, a friend, a subscriber, email me her first experience um, today with the Shekinah glory. And I had an another subscriber, a new subscriber, ask, could she email me about the Shekinah about the glory of God so that she may encourage the body of Christ and give God the glory. And that is truly <laughs> the only reason I'm doing it um, is to give God all the glory. And so I, I'm going to do um, more videos. I have several videos um, and a testimony from my friend Nicole and my friend Lainey and my um, many, 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 many friends, um, and subscribers have shared the Shekinah with me. So what the Holy Spirit put upon my heart, um, the other day as I was praying, I, I didn't realize, um, sorry about that, that I had these trolls attacking me, doubting me, saying it wasn't real, saying it, it was sweat on my hands or it was something else, um, but what the thing is, and I know this is 100% the truth because I don't lie. There's no sense in lying, number one, um, is that when I praise and worship, I can feel literal oil coming um, like to the fingertips and palms of my hands. And my hands have always gotten warm. That is the presence of God through the Holy Spirit. And this isn't just for me and a few others. This is for everybody. This is God living inside of us. If you're a Holy Spirit filled Christian, just like I read about the apostles being filled with the Holy Spirit at Pentecost, then you have God living inside of you, dwelling inside of you through the Holy Spirit, through Jesus Christ, through God himself. And when we praise him, he was putting upon my heart, it's like that oil and I know he, he tied it all in with the 
um, foolish and the wise virgins. The wise virgins had their lanterns filled with oil. The anointing, the anointing of God's chosen people is represented as oil. So he was tying all that together in that video I did um, the other day. And he was sharing with me that the Holy Spirit increases inside of us when God is present, obviously. And he manifests in a physical form however he chooses. He's God. Nothing's impossible to God. And the more you praise and the more you worship, this increases. And the more you give God the glory because he gives, all, he deserves all the glory, um, your, the presence of God is going to increase. And I've experienced it, you know, in church, especially during praise and worship, because I put my hands in the air like I just don't care. And, um, you know, and, and in my prayer closet, um, I've had it all over my clothes. I remember one time I was sleeping and my eyes were closed, but I could literally see it um, in a vision, the Shekinah glory, like gold floating through the air. And when I woke up, I had... Uh, had it gold dust in my hair and in my in my brush, and you know I try I do try to document it so that I can glorify God, and I'm not afraid to be bold, and I'm definitely not afraid to be obedient to the Holy Spirit, um, because that's what the Lord has prompted me through the Holy Spirit ha has asked me to do so that I may glorify Him. Um, so I just want to share that with you that. You know, I'm here because I'm obedient to the Holy Spirit. Um, it, it's not some sort of act. It's nothing that I'm doing. It's it's exactly what these two ladies sent me, that they were praising and worshiping. Candy said I was praising and worshiping. And I'll read her testimony to you in a different video. But she she said she felt this warmth just... Um, just cover her, which is the Holy Spirit. He comes as warmth. A lot of times I remember one time I was praising and I felt like somebody poured a warm cup of coffee across my chest and that is the presence of God. And he may manifest in a different way to you, but God is everywhere, omnipotent, omnipresent, omni everything. So nothing is impossible to God. But I will share her full testimony she sent me pictures and, and I just want to glorify God in it. So I just wanted to share that with you and I pray this blesses you and I will be back to share more. God bless you. Amen.